Hello everybody, it's a new year and it's time for another successful challenges overview. All right, and let's just start. So I have for you two challenges and two verifications. So let's do this. The first one that we will see is purple trading challenge. And just from the balance curve, you can see that this trader had kind of a bumpy road, which is fine, you know, when a trader gets into a profit and loses and then gets back up again, like that's awesome. That's what we want to see actually. So this trader actually managed his psychology game outstandingly, probably, or at least that's what I see according to this balance curve. And with 114 trades, he managed to finish this challenge. You can notice here that we have removed 50% positive days trading objectives for December. And I'm happy to say that we have actually decided to remove it entirely. So for you guys that want to start with the challenge, this is just great news because now you have one trading objective less to worry about. Now I will just skim over his daily summary. You can see that he made some losses, also some profits in the beginning of his challenge, then some more losses, then some profits. And in the end, he made actually one huge profit, one huge spike, which we don't really like that much, but you know, whatever, he passed the challenge, so he will move to the verification and he will still have to pass the verification actually. Looking at his trading journal, he actually held his trades for multiple days because he paid some swaps here, as you can see here, and he made some pretty great gains. All right. So this guy traded with gold, Bitcoin, and also silver, and also Euro and US dollar. All right, let's move on to a different trader. So this is another challenge and just looking, just skimming through this challenge, I can see that he traded mostly DAX and Dow Jones and the balance curve looks pretty great to me. There are no major discrepancies. And with 100, 132 trades, he managed to finish this challenge. All right. Everything here just seems pretty balanced. You know, it's also the smallest package for $10,000 or 10,000 euros. In this case, it costs actually equally. And most of the trades were short here, as you can see and he just made pretty great gains with most of the trades. You can see that there is no one huge spike in his profit and we really like to see that. So we would like to see this trader get funded. All right, so once again, I said that he trades with DAX, Dow Jones, actually made some loss on US dollar and, Can and Canadian dollars. And also there is some brand, I think actually, and some more Forex. All right. So now let's see some of those verifications. The first verification that we are gonna look at is MT4 XM and it's XM Ultra Low, which is like equivalent of ECM or raw spread for IC markets, right? And this trader made some huge profits in the beginning of the challenge and then just moved on, cruised on and finished successfully his challenge. That's not a problem with us, you know, this guy will get FTMO account and we will be happy for him and hopefully he will bring us and himself or herself some nice profits. This trader's risk cover ratio is pretty good, his win ratio is pretty all right. His lot sizes are kind of unbalanced. You can see that most of the profits were made on 4.5 lots and 
rest of the trades were made just with really small amounts which once again that is not an issue but we would like to see more consistent trading but what do you know maybe he is consistent we just didn't test him for long enough and these are all of his trades and it pretty much confirms what I thought most of the trades were successfully done with just one position and then the rest was made pretty much on second positions and then he just entered some trades that weren't really that important to his or her verification and most of the profits were made on gold as you can see which is really popular these days especially with the tensions in Iran and the last account that we are going to look at is verification on IC markets standard so it was MT4 platform which I can see from his login number this trader wasn't really doing that great in the beginning he made some losses also but in the end there were some pretty great trades so not only did this trader reach his profit target without any big issue but also you can see from his max daily loss and max loss that he didn't go down in his equity very much so this trader probably watches his equity really carefully from the statistics you can see that there is really nothing unusual here I wanna talk a little bit about this particular line so last updated on 3rd of January you see once you reach your profit target and all of the trading objectives are reached uh, your account matrix no longer updates so you don't really have to be scared that your account matrix does not update like there is some bug or whatever because we will actually contact you that you finished your challenge but unfortunately if you want to continue trading on this account you will not be able to use the account matrix but anyway it is not such an issue because you have passed anyway right some of the trades were made in one day but others were held for multiple days such as these because he paid some swaps here and overall pretty balanced profits also there is nice balance between buys and sells and mostly he made his profits on British pound and US dollar and also Australian dollar and Canadian dollar all right so that's pretty good all right guys so this is it from me and I would actually like to hear from you guys if you have any sort of feedback or any sort of idea for the next videos also let me know in the comments if this video was helpful to you you should also subscribe to our FTMO channel to see more similar videos and more updates and you should also definitely follow FTMO on Facebook, Instagram and all of the social media basically. And I wish you guys good luck in your challenges and verifications and I will see you in the next video.